This week on Mr. Ben's Big Challenge, we will meet three kids from three different elementary schools. Although they seem like ordinary kids, each one of them endures a struggle against doing what they want to do and what God wants them to do. First, there's Ellie Hughes, a second grader at Kasurik Elementary. Ellie has a problem obeying her parents. Ellie, it's time to clean up your room. I'm not going to clean up my room. Next, we meet Aubrey Wilson. She's a fourth grader at Rooster Springs Elementary School. During the worship time in Kid Venture, she chooses not to participate for fear of what others will think of her. And finally, there's Nicholas Angeli, a third grader at Mills Elementary. He comes to church every week without his Bible. Nobody else brings their Bible. These three kids were brought together and were given a challenge, a big challenge from Mr. Ben, to obey the greatest commandments, love God and love people. Now, do you all three know why you're here today? Yes, Aubrey? Because we're bad kids? No, you're not bad kids. I thought you guys would be able to answer this challenge that I've set up. Ellie, let's start with you. You think you can love God and love people? Yes, I pray to God every night and I have lots of friends and I definitely love people. Yeah, well, what about your room? My room? What does that have to do with loving God and loving people? Well, I, uh, I heard your room was kind of messy, and your mom asked you to clean it, and you said no. My mom tells me to do a lot of stuff that I do not want to do. She is so mean. Did you know that, you're, uh, that our parents are people, too? And uh, if we're going to love people, we have to love our parents. And one of the ways we show our parents that we love them is by listening to them, even when they ask us to clean up our room. Okay, your big challenge is going to be to listen to your mom and dad, even when they ask you to clean up your room. You think you can do that? I think so. All right, well, let's try to. So, Nicholas, um, what's up with not bringing your Bible to church? I thought the challenge was to love God and people. I don't need a Bible for that. Yeah, well, you know, the Bible is God's Word, and uh, it's how He talks to us. If you're going to be in a relationship with somebody, you have to be able to hear them, and the Bible is how God talks to us. And another thing is, you know, here in Kid Venture, um, we ask you to bring your Bible to church every Sunday. And uh, you can show us a little love by just bringing your Bible to church. Think you can do that? Okay, but whatever about everybody else? Well, maybe you can be an example to them. Think you can do that? Okay. Are you in? I'm in. So, Aubrey, let's talk about worship. What's there to talk about? Well, do you know why we worship in Kid Venture? Because some kids like to sing. Yeah, that's probably true, but there's another much bigger reason. God loves it when we sing to Him and worship Him. I mean, He created us. He's our Creator. And uh, the thing He wants more than anything else is for us to be His forever friend. I think God is awesome. It's just, well, I don't really like singing. Yeah, you know, it's hard for me to sing and clap at the same time. But I still try. Evidently, God loves the sound of our voices, even mine. No way. Yeah, hard to believe. Well, I guess you've moved on to Elevate now, and maybe, maybe over there the worship and the singing will suit you better. What you said makes sense. I've always thought of just the music in motion, so I've never really thought of what, what it might look like to God. I guess my wallflowering days are over. All right, let's hope so. All right, you guys are all dismissed. Guys, I'm kind of happy here. I need your help. I mean, could you send me somebody? Anybody. I'll take anybody. I just need some help with this. Oh, hey, Carl. What, what, are, what are you doing here? Well, it's maintenance. Hey, um, I wonder if you can help me out with something. What? Well, I've got these three kids. Uh -huh. And I've challenged them to obey God's greatest commandment. Uh -huh. Hey, Noah. Hey, how'd your week go? Oh, um... I'm swimming after church. Mr. Tom, what you got planned? Uh, how is uh, how's that Mr. Ben's big challenge going? It's going okay. Going okay. So you cleaned up your room? Yes, I did. Oh, Hello. Well, hey, Mr. Lee, what's going on? You got good news. Well, well what is it? 
Ellie finally cleaned up her room? Oh man, that's awesome. All right, I'm gonna have to call Carl and let him know. All right, talk to you later, bye. Hey, Ben, Carl's here. Oh, tell him I'm in Noah's room playing trains. You gotta see this, man. What, 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 what is I, it? I was just over at Ellie's house. Wait, you were at, you were at, you were at Ellie's house? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay. Uh, this is her room. Wait, you were in her room? Nobody was there. It's all right. What? Wait, this is this is Ellie's room. Uh, when did you take this? Just now. You mean you mean she lied? Uh, and it's worse than it was before. Yeah, I don't remember those crayons. And and breaking and entering a little girl's house. Great job, Carl. Thanks, Mr. Ben. Carl? Carl, are you here? Ash. Ash, have you seen Carl? You have? Well, where is he? He's teaching driving school? Oh, he's at the swimming pool. Well, I don't know where that is. Can you take me there? You, you can? Okay, well take me to the swimming pool. What am I doing here? What what were you just doing? Well, you've heard of water aerobics. It's uh, it's low impact on the joints. It's uh, you know when you get to be my age, you start thinking about these things. But, you know you gotta you gotta take care of your body. But dude, you looked so weird. Well, I just hope you look as good as me when you get to be my age. All right? Yeah, let's hope so. Uh, well, the reason I'm here is uh, ever since you showed me that the video footage of Ellie's room, um, I just been really down. I mean, the, her room was worse than it was the first time. And uh, I mean, after that, I just, I just want to call the whole challenge off. Oh, come on. I mean, it, she's one kid, one bad apple, then, you know, whatever. Um, I wouldn't sweat it. You're doing a good job with the others. Look, hey, Aubrey, she's coming around, right? Yeah, I guess the, the news from Elevate is that she's starting to clap a little and sing a little. So I guess I guess she's making progress, but but Ellie yeah. and 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 Nicholas. I mean, how what? hard is it to bring your Bible to church every Sunday? Oh, come on, you know, kids forget stuff. I have the same problem with Calvin. Look, don't worry about it. I, I mean, you know, you know, uh, all I want him to do is bring his Bible to church. That's it. How? I mean, come on, just just bring your Bible General to church. Gentle reminders. Gentle reminders. He'll he'll get the hang of it. Look, look hey, just. Forget about Nick. I'll take care of it. Man. He's gonna be dead. Uh oh. Oh man. Oh man, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, hi Steve. I, I'm sorry. Carl? Yeah. Um, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry to bug you early in the morning like this. Um, but is it's Nicholas here? Thirty in the morning, Carl. I I know, but is Nicholas here? Of course he's here. He's asleep. Well, could, could I just talk to him just for a second? No. Just. But no. I. There's something I Carl. forgot to. Do. Here, Carl. What's going on, man? I. I just. There's something I got to tell. Him. I promised Mr. Ben I'd tell him, uh, to bring his Bible tomorrow. Okay, so if you would just. You're you're here at four thirty in the morning to tell him to bring his Bible. Well, it's important. It matters. It really does. So, if, um, just tell him that for me, okay? If you would, uh, uh, I'd, I'd give you a note. His Bible. But, yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah, have him bring his Bible. Are you going home now? Yeah. All right. Please yeah. don't knock again. All right. All, All right. right. Bye. Bye. That was weird.
Let's go, Nicholas. We're gonna be late for church. Now. Buckle up. <laughs> 